Welcome back to the Bag Hag Digest. Hello beautiful bag lovers, it's Trina and welcome back. It's been a wee while since I've been behind the camera, in fact. I missed a day. Usually I try to post once a week, but sometimes, you know, life gets in the way. But something arrived in the mail yesterday and I just had to get at it. And I thought I should get at it with you. So I'm going to see if you can guess what I got here. It is a bucket bag, but can you guess the brand? It's not Mansur Gabrielle. I've been watching that since it came uh, onto the scene a few years ago. I've had some opportunities to buy them um, on my preferred online platform for bags, which is Merukari Japan. But unfortunately, uh, the prices have not been that tasty and uh, the ones that have tend to slip away fairly quickly. And it is a bag that can scratch up quite easily. So I've been looking for the model in a Safiano leather and they just haven't been out as much yet. Um, I could buy retail, but you know me, I like to do the secondhand route. So this one here is a vintage piece, uh, which is supposedly in good condition uh, from a very reputable brand. Let's open it up together. Step one, step two, ooh, very exciting. There is an excitement with unwrapping stuff, isn't there? Uh -huh. Step two, step three, lots of bubble wrap here. It's a bit like a mini, what's it called? Mansur Gabrielle, indeed, or a sort of a Louis Vuitton. The base looks like so. It's a lot, it's a mini size, I guess, tall. Can you guess the brand? It's a plate on it. It's not Louis Vuitton. It's not Mansur Gabrielle. It's not Prada. What is it? <laughs> Here it is. Yes, my friends, it is MCM, and uh, MCM is a brand I'm a fan of. I, I haven't owned anything from them. I'm looking to buying a mini Bebe backpack, those little mini backpacks, kind of like the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs, but still expensive, but not as crazily priced as Louis Vuitton is. I think they're adorable, and uh, I already have one, which is why I'm hesitating. I have a, a, what's it called, a Chloe mini backpack, which I adore and I just can't justify buying one just yet. We'll see. I'm trying to control myself with my handbag collection. Uh, let's take this apart here. It, this is an excellent condition. It is vintage. Uh, vintage means different things to different people. To me, 90s doesn't feel like vintage because I was already an adult at that time. To me, 70s and earlier is vintage, but I guess, you know, time flies and now it's 90s and earlier. Even 2000 is considered vintage now, which is to me just crazy. So anything basically over 20 years, right? I think it should be more 30 years. But anyway, this bag is, it's not, I don't think it's leather. I think it's that coated canvas stuff, which I really appreciate. It could be leather. It very, actually it very well could be. Uh, this is, this was probably made back when MCM Munich brand was still a German brand. Now, of course, it's been bought out by a Korean company. Don't think the quality has changed per se, but the prices have gone higher as they tend to. Uh, this one, I believe, is from the 90s, but I'll check and I'll try and find the model for you for this and any numbers and whatnot, and I'll put that information below. But it's a beautiful bucket bag. Uh, I'm looking forward to wearing it. In fact, I think I'm gonna put my stuff in it and wear it today. It's a good size, not, definitely not uh, overbearingly big, but not small enough that you can't uh, not use it for everyday work. There are no scratches and tears on this. It really is in good condition. Of course, the plate has a little bit of um, where I think I'm gonna polish, try to polish that up a little bit. But seriously, no scratches so far. Mind you, I can miss these things, can't I? Uh, it looks good. Now let's see what's going on inside. 
yeah, made in Germany, it says here, and handmade, look at that. You see those tags? I don't think there is an interior pocket. I can't feel one in here. It's a black hole, it's a bucket bag, you know. This tie uh, is a great design. I don't have to, um, I don't have to tie anything up, which is a pain in the neck. I can just tighten this and loosen it. However, some people get paranoid about people digging their hands into things on public trains, but I don't fear that's a big problem when you stuff maybe a scarf on top and tighten it up. This is pretty secure and I've tightened it up here and I can of course just leave it wide open as well if I want to. So uh, I'm pleased, glad I got it. I paid about Ichiman in for this, which is $130. Uh, so not the cheapest, but I think it was a, a good uh, buy considering the condition of this. And I do think I will get a lot of wear out of it. So there you go. That is the uh, MCM uh, vintage bucket bag. Further information, hopefully forthcoming below. And uh, I'll keep you updated on this at a later time. Okay, bag hag, signing out. Mwah.